Hi everyone, this is Math 6, Lesson 3-3. Lesson 3 of Topic 3. In this lesson, you will be able to use the order of operations to evaluate numerical expressions in summary. In uh, detail, you will evalu evaluate expressions using the order of operations. You'll insert grouping symbols in a numerical expression to affect the value of the expression. And in language-wise, you will explain how to use the order of operations to evaluate numerical expressions. Let's look at solve and discuss it. An airline company charges additional fees for bags that do not meet the weight and size limits. For one flight, fees were charged for a total of 50 bags that were over the weight limit and six oversized bags. Find the total amount of fees collected for that flight. So we got overweight bags that cost 49 each and oversized bags that cost $75 each. You can use the order of operations to evaluate numerical expressions. How can we do that? How many overweight bags do we have again? Highlight the important facts. 50 bags that were over the weight, okay? Which are $49 each. So you multiply 50 by 49. And you have six oversized bags that are $75 each. So you multiply six times 75. Let's record that. For overweight bags, you have 50, the number of bags times the cost for one bag equals to total of $2,450, okay? And oversized bags, bags cost total of six bags times $75 each, $450. So total, how much did it charge? You add 2,450 plus 450, which is 2,900. And your final answer is the total amount of fees were $2,900, okay? Look at the problem on the bottom. Tamara was charged for two bags that were over the weight limit and another bag that was over the size limit, so two bags. Write and evaluate a numerical expression to find the additional fees Tamara was charged for her bags. Okay. So she got two bags that were over weight limit, which is 49 each, plus total, wait, and then he, she has one more bag that's over size limit, which is $75 each. So, in total, 49 times 2 plus 1 times 75 should equal to 98 plus 75 should equal to 173. So what is your final answer? Tamara was charged $173 and additional fees for her bags, okay? Let's look at the next page. Think about how you can write and evaluate numerical expressions throughout this lesson. Example one, use the order of operations to evaluate numerical expressions. Some expressions look difficult because they include parentheses and brackets. You can think of brackets as, as outside parentheses. Um, let's evaluate this following numerical expressions. Notice it's a numerical expression because you only have numbers here, no variables. 
A numerical expression is a math expression that contains numbers and at least one operation. So you need to have an operation. Addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, all of them, or at least one of them, okay? So this whole thing is, is a numerical expression. So first of all, you need to know the order of operations. Which operation should you do first? First, if you have parentheses, you need to do parentheses and the brackets from inside out, okay? You need to solve the most inner part of parentheses or brackets first. And then you evaluate powers. Okay, uh, parentheses first and powers. And then multiply or divide, and then add or subtract. Okay, multiplying and division do not matter. The order does not matter. They're in the same level, okay? And the last, lastly, you add and subtract. They don't, uh, the order does not matter for, for addition and subtraction either. So first, Let's solve parentheses and brackets from inside out. You're going to solve 3.6 plus 0 0.9 first. Okay, that's four. So then you still have a bracket. Two plus four is next. And then you have six. Okay, it's subtracting six. So then what's next? Powers. Solve powers. Four squared is equal to 16. And then you multiply and divide from left to right, okay? Um, so one over two times 16 would be 16 divided by two, which is eight, okay? And then you, you can subtract eight and six together. And your final answer is just two. So all this is equal to two, okay? Let's try evaluating this numerical expression. Six cubed plus 48, my, uh, wait, one over eight times bracket, six cubed plus parentheses, 48 divided by six, and then close them minus 20. So first you need to solve from inside out um, in your parentheses and brackets. 48 divided by six is going to be the first one, okay? 48 divided by six is eight. Eight times six is 48. And then you need to solve um, inside the parentheses, but before you add, always your power, solving your power is first. So let's solve the powers before you add. 216 plus eight. And if you add 216 plus eight, 224. And then what do you do? You have to do the bracket, but also multiplication first, right? 224 divided by eight is 28. And then you subtract them. 28, divide, 28 subtract by 20 is eight. Okay, so the final answer is eight. Why is it important to follow the order of operations? Are we gonna get the same answer if we do not follow the order of operations? No. If the rules are not followed in order, the calculated value of the expression might not be correct, okay? So why if the rules are not followed in order, you'll get a different answer. Okay, let's look at the next page. Example two, evaluating numerical expressions with decimals and fractions. Evaluate the numerical expression. Even if you have fractions and decimals, your order of operation stays the same. Solve the parentheses from inside out first. So subtract six and three um, over four. That's five and one fourth. 
divided by two, two and five eighths, and then solve the powers. So you have 6.25, 32, right? And then you add from left to right, you get 90.25, okay? Example three. Inserting grouping symbols in, in a numerical expression. How do you insert grouping symbols in the expression so it has a value of 10? Okay, it means you're gonna add parentheses or brackets to group the order of operation together to decide which order you're gonna do first, okay? So that your answer is 10, you wanna get 10, okay? Let's group 40 minus seven first. If you group 40 minus seven, you do that first. And then you have 33 plus 33 times three over four. So then you multiply that and then you add that. You get 57 and three over four. That is not 10. You will not get 10 out of this. So let's try a different group of symbols. Let's try parentheses over seven and 33, not including the negative sign, okay? And then we add seven plus 33 to get 40. We multiply that by three over four, and that's 30. And so we subtract it from 40, we get 10. And that's exactly what we want. If you grouped 40 and then minus seven plus 33, that becomes a multiplication. You cannot do that, okay? Do not change your order of operations. When you use math sim symbols correctly, you are going to be precise, okay? So this is the correct group that we want in order to get 10 as an answer. Let's try these questions on the bottom of the page, part A and part B. Evaluate these numerical expressions and insert a grouping symbol. Put a bracket over it someplace, okay? Or a parentheses. Come back when you're ready. So part A, what do you do first? Nine times four, that's 36, and then you solve inside the bracket still, 36 plus nine is 45. And then what do you do? You do the powers, right? One third power of two is what? One third times one third, which is one over nine. So then you have 3.2 squared minus 45 times one over nine. You do multiplication or subtraction first? Multiplication first, 45 divided by nine. Wait, we need to solve this power too. 3.2 times 3.2 is 3.2 square. Okay. So you have two decimal places, that's going to be 10.24, Minus 45 divided by nine is what? Five. So 10.24 minus five is 5.24. And that is our answer, 5.24. Part B, where do you have to put the parentheses? This one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Does this work? No. Finally, three plus seven, solving three plus seven first and six plus 12 first, you need to put two parentheses and then multiplying all these numbers and after the powers, you get 80, right? So six plus 12 is 18 times two third to the second power, is that square? Yes. And then three plus seven is 10, right? And so that's really 18 times four ninth times 10, okay? And then you have simplify this, two times four is eight times 10 is 80, okay? 
So let's summarize our lesson. We wrote and evaluated numerical expressions in this lesson. The order of operations is a set of rules uh, used to evaluate expressions that include more than one operation. Remember that the order of operation is first to evaluate in inside grouping symbols such as parentheses or brackets from inside out. And two, you're evaluating powers. Three, multiply or divide from left to right. Four, add or subtract from left to right. Okay, that was lesson three, writing and evaluating numerical expressions. We'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Bye.